IELTS 8.0 Thu Kwa, Tan Dong Ni, and Huin Chuang Van Kwok Tae are all achievements and names that parents and the media use to measure and discuss the success of young people. However, the struggles and sacrifices behind these achievements are rarely acknowledged. How many young people have had to sacrifice a part or even their entire childhood to chase after these labels and the unrealistic expectations of their families and society? The film Gifted also explores this issue in a society that prioritizes achievements above all else. The future of Mary, a seven-year-old girl, becomes a contentious topic among adults. Should she have a peaceful, soulful life like her friend Dong Tremua, or should she follow the traditional education path for young people with exceptional talents? The film delves into the complex emotional journey of both the girl and the boy as they navigate through these questions to find the answer to that difficult question. Mary lived with Frank. At first, the audience's impression of the girl was probably nothing special. Although she was a little older, Mary was just a seven-year-old girl. She was also shy and would become jealous when she was not allowed to do what she wanted. One day, she decided that she didn't want to go to school and complained about it, giving enough reasons. However, Frank firmly disagreed and encouraged her to go to school. Soon, Mary's teacher realized that she had a talent for math. The school asked to help Mary register for scholarships and attend a school for talented children. However, Frank decided to refuse. It was his late sister's wish that Mary be raised as a normal child, with a happy and carefree childhood. With Frank, Mary didn't have to worry about being judged by society for her differences. Thanks to Frank's guidance, Mary was able to embrace her uniqueness and live a fulfilling life. Despite being different, Mary was raised to be a confident and meaningful child, thanks to Frank's education. Going to school and interacting with other kids helped Mary to smile and develop better social skills. At first, she felt that school was a waste of time. In her opinion, her classmates were too simple and childish. She was a girl who was clearly bored at school and even asked the principal to call her home. However, as time passed, Mary gradually integrated and began to get used to the school environment. She excelled in tests and confidently stood in front of the whole class to share stories about her cat. Through school, she even learned how to act for others. Mary's growth was evident when she stood up to protect a bullied student and never hesitated to praise their work in front of the whole class. Unlike other parents, Frank did not blame her for her initial reluctance. On the contrary, he was proud of Mary for doing the right thing. His unwavering support helped Mary to embrace school and excel. Living with Frank, she was always surrounded by love and care. Frank always makes it a priority to spend as much time as possible playing with Mary. He gave up his job as a philosophy professor at a prestigious school to be able to take care of her. He now works as a freelancer, allowing him to have a flexible schedule to be there for Mary. He also encourages her to explore the world around her by finding creative ways to engage her, such as getting her out of a pile of books. Frank is the one who introduces Mary to fun afternoons at the beach, exciting movie nights, and singing along to songs with their neighbor Roberta. He also shares his imaginative stories about their pet cat, One-Eyed Fred, with Mary. However, raising a child, especially one like Mary, is not without its challenges. Mary is kind and sensitive, making her different from most children her age. This means that Frank has to spend even more time caring for her and understanding her needs. Sometimes, Frank feels like he doesn't have a life of his own while raising Mary. He also struggles with his emotions and can become loud with Mary, but he always tries his best to be patient and understanding. He loves Mary deeply and is willing to make sacrifices to ensure she has a happy and fulfilling childhood. After calming down, he always made sure to sit down with Mary and talk things through in order to resolve any issues and prevent the girl from getting hurt. The two children's lives should be peaceful despite the challenges they face every day. Will Frank's education be suitable for a young girl like Mary? This question arose when Evelyn, Mary's grandmother and Frank's mother came to visit the two children. After discovering Mary's exceptional math skills, Evelyn decided to take her under her care. She intended to enroll Mary in a better school and hire excellent teachers to help her further develop her abilities. However, Frank was not in agreement. He did not want Mary's childhood to revolve solely around studying and attending lectures without any time for rest, similar to what her mother had experienced. With no compromise in sight, Evelyn resorted to filing a lawsuit to determine who had the right to raise Mary. Through this process, many family secrets were revealed, including the fact that Mary's mother, Diane, had tragically ended her own life shortly after giving birth to Mary. Diane has spent a lot of time with her mother, Evelyn, but it appears that she doesn't truly understand her as she thought. With Evelyn, Diane is only allowed to express her passion for math and is discouraged from pursuing other interests. Her life is devoid of any unnecessary activities such as volunteering or taking final exams. Her childhood love for math has only grown stronger. She even went as far as calling the police and falsely accusing her boyfriend of kidnapping her while they were traveling. In her eyes, everything she does is for her own good and for her future. She believes that individuals with exceptional talents like herself and her friend Mary have a responsibility to use their abilities and contribute to society with their wisdom. 
However, what others may not see is that Diane is under immense pressure. Instead of expressing her love and support, Evelyn fails to understand that Diane is struggling. Diane believes that ending her own life would be a sign of weakness and a waste of her talent. It is worth noting that despite this pressure, she has been able to achieve her goals. Mary's groundbreaking research on the Navier-Stokes formula is set to make her a name in history. It is believed that her work will bring about a significant breakthrough in the field of physics, impacting the entire world. In the article, Mary's exceptional talent takes center stage, with everyone discussing her studies, research, and material resources to support her development. However, amidst all this, only Frank shows genuine concern for Mary's well-being. Even her father, who Evelyn mentions as having more advantages in the article, does not display any affection towards her. He seems content with just a simple Google search to gather information about Mary. For the past seven years, he has not made any effort to meet his own daughter. While Evelyn is fixated on Mary's talent, she forgets that the girl is still just a child. It is only Frank who understands her thoughts and emotions, and he is the one who takes her to the hospital when she is deeply upset upon learning that her father is in the same city but has not reached out to her. Frank's actions demonstrate his genuine care and concern for Mary. To help her understand that her birth brought a lot of joy to everyone around her, Frank always hopes that she can understand the meaning of her own existence. She is a precious gift, not just something that other people didn't want to keep. Frank is also Mary's wishful thinker. As per the court's request, Frank brought Mary to live with Evelyn for two days. The girl was pleasantly surprised to hear Evelyn's stories about studying math and was even more thrilled when Evelyn introduced her to a famous professor. Mary excelled in solving the math problems given by the professor, leaving everyone in awe. Meeting Mary opened up a whole new world for Frank. He realized that for Mary, even marriage will not be as big of a milestone as meeting new people and learning new things. Mary shared with Frank that although she really likes Evelyn, she prefers to continue living with him rather than staying with Evelyn. Frank has been the one who has loved and wanted to adopt Mary from the very beginning. Although she is a smart girl, just one word from her is enough to prove her trust in her husband. For a seven-year-old girl, having to live with a stranger is a terrible thing. Knowing this, Frank convinced Mary that the girl would stay with him and not go anywhere. Unfortunately, this promise was not kept as Evelyn requested for Mary to be adopted by another family. As a result, both Frank and Mary have the right to visit the girl. At the time, Frank doubted the possibility of providing a better life for Mary and decided to compromise. This was a difficult choice for both of them. When they arrived at their parents' house, the girl felt abandoned and was extremely disappointed because Frank had broken his promise. She cried and begged Frank not to leave her. However, he had no choice but to close his eyes, pretend not to see anything, and leave. This became a big problem. that Evelyn, a fellow cat lover, was causing disruption in Mary's life. Knowing how much Mary adored his cat, Fred, he quickly took action to retrieve him. This time, he didn't hesitate to bring Mary with him to pick up Fred. At first, she was reluctant to let him go because she always felt that he had abandoned her. She didn't feel like a part of his life. Frank was more confident in the way he raised her and admitted to Mary that his decision to bring her here was a mistake. He promised to take her home. After many moments of self-doubt, Frank realized that the years spent with him had helped her become the wonderful person she is now. It was clear that he had made the right decision. As for Evelyn, Frank also found a way to understand his sister's wishes and convinced her not to force Mary to follow a path she didn't want. Frank was also very close to Diane. When Mary passed away, Diane came to Frank for help. He had another appointment, but promised Diane they would talk when he was finished. Little did he know, he would return to find had taken her own life, leaving Mary alone. Frank couldn't help but blame himself. Because he didn't care about his sister, he always felt guilty, so he tried to fulfill her wishes. Before leaving, Dane gave Mary back to Frank and left some final words about her research. Throughout his life, Dane had devoted himself to studying a century-long equation. After putting in a lot of effort to complete the project, she decided to wait for the results. She wanted Frank to hold off on announcing them until after her mother passed away. This was her way of rebelling against her mother after years of living under her pressure. Frank revealed everything to Evelyn. 
He made this decision partly because he wanted her to understand Dane's feelings, and partly because he wanted her to take over the project instead of her daughter and not interfere with Mary's life anymore. In front of her now were Dane's research and her tear-jerking notes. Only then did she realize her mistake. What she had refused to accept for years was now revealed. It was her stubbornness and the pressure she placed on her daughter that drove away her happiness and caused her to seek death as an escape. With tears in her eyes, she was determined to make amends for the damage she had caused by representing her daughter's work. After a long struggle, Frank also found a suitable path for Mary. He enrolled her in an environment that suited her, where she had access to excellent teachers and was exposed to new and interesting knowledge. In addition to her studies, Frank encouraged her to play happily with her friends. As a result, Mary blossomed into a confident leader and formed close relationships with her peers. Her life now strikes a balance between academics and enjoyable experiences. In contrast, Diane's life is that of a child who crumbled under the pressure of her parents. Mary is fortunate to have met Frank and have a happier life as a result. After countless battles and destroying true stories, Gifted is not just a series about true family love and emotions, but also contains valuable lessons about raising children. In today's advanced society, where people chase numbers and status, parents sometimes forget that their children are just that, children. The privilege of childhood is to live in love and explore the world, not to be molded into the expectations of adults. Only when a child learns to be happy and live for themselves can they have a clear vision for their future. If children are burdened with expectations and pressure from adults at a young age, they will not have the opportunity to discover their own humanity. One day, when the burden of adulthood becomes too heavy for children who have been forced to grow up too quickly, they may collapse under its weight. Even if these children are strong enough to escape the clutches of adults, they may be left with permanent scars that will never fully heal. The regret of a childhood filled with broken books and a lack of love is something that cannot be remedied, no matter how hard one tries. It is not natural for people to say that happy children use their childhood to embrace life, while unhappy children spend their entire lives trying to heal from their childhood. Along with the messages of being gifted, we hope that every child will have the ability to make good choices and not feel pressured to conform to outdated norms. May the Force be with you. I am going to make him an offer again. Play as time goes by. Hasta la vista, baby.